What's up, Aries? I'm Infinite Starheart. Thank you all for being here. This will be your quick key daily message for August 20, 2020 for all of my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So if you have Aries placements anywhere in your chart, this reading may resonate for you. Please note this reading is general. So only apply the messages that may resonate and leave the rest. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe if you would like to stay updated with the current energies and other content I put out on my channel. Also, you can check the description box below for information on booking a reading. I can be reached at infinitestarheart at gmail.com. All right, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Let's see what is the quick, quick key daily message you need to know. All right, your card is receive. Open-minded, abundant, ready. It is your time to receive. Beautiful. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we do have destruction. Tower moment. Unexpected change. New opportunities. Okay. Um, underneath that, you do have loss. Loss of self and identity. Discover your true self again. Alright. And you have hidden path. Underneath that, detour, slow down, explore, go in a new direction. Okay, Aries, it is your time to receive. Alright, I feel like for some of you, you will be having a new opportunity that is going to present itself. But it's sort of going to be like a, a blessing in disguise. After you you go through this tower moment here, okay? Something has to be destroyed. It has to, um, you know, there has to be change here. And I feel like this part of that is due to, um, you could have lost someone, okay? You could have, um, you know, removed yourself from a situation, a connection, okay? For others of you, this can be an actual loss of a family member or somebody that you know close to you, okay? Um, my condolences to any of you that that is for, okay? Um, like I said, right now, you're in this energy of receiving, okay? Um... After going through a difficult period, a challenging time, all right, you're going to start to see the fruits of your labor, okay? Um, you're going to see things get better. All right, let me pull another card for you. What else does my Aries need to know? Alright, you have Solar Plexus Chakra, okay? Alright, this is uh, needing to pay attention to your intuition. I feel like um, you had a gut feeling about something, okay? At the bottom, you do have Sacral Chakra, alright? Um, this is something, again, like I said, I feel like you needing to pay attention to your intuition, having a gut feeling about something as well. Um, underneath that is throat chakra. 
there's something you're needing to speak or there will be communication coming in for you. Also, for others of you, you're needing to balance out your chakras and these are showing up for you. Um, your solar plexus chakra, your sacral chakra. Um, this is where we create, okay? This is our creative energy as well. Some of you are too focused on uh, low vibrational things, okay? So that's why I say you're needing to balance your chakra as well. Alright, let's get some more messages. The magician beautiful energy okay this is you having the resources and tools to create the life that you want okay the magician energy you are magical okay they have everything they have the wand they have the pinnacle they have the sword and they have the cup okay Solar plexus chakra. Why is that here? All right, you have the fool. All right, taking a risk with something. Okay. Taking a leap of faith as well. Um, the full card in the upright, this person is not, um, you know, they're not naive or anything. They're not foolish, but they are, um, very open-minded, okay? Um, young at heart as well, willing to take a risk. All right, your next card was the death card, okay? Um, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Like I said, for some of you, this is an ending, needing to change something as well. All right, for others, um, this is a death for someone, okay? This could be a loss for you. Um... Again, my condolences for those of you that that is for. Okay, knowing something is coming to an end. Alright, what else? Take a shocker while I sat here. dealing with a Taurus. Um, this could have been a commitment. Okay? This could have been um, something that was long term for you. This can be an older person as well. Alright. The Hierophant. This is someone I look at as a spiritual leader. You can be a role model or teacher of some sort as well. Um, this person could have been retired. <laughs> All right, at the bottom, you do have the Eight of Wands can be dealing with someone that has fire in their chart or this can be you Aries okay <clears throat> this is things 
events happening in motion. All right. Um, something moving quickly for you as well. This can be within work, a career. All right. Underneath that, you have the Nine of Pentacles. Um, <laughs> Some, for some of you, this could have been someone that you were in a marriage or a long-term commitment with. Um, someone could have passed. Others of you, this is an ending. All right. Um, you moving away from this person. Some of you can, can be traveling, um, moving out of state or something like that. Okay. But with the Nine of Pentacles here, underneath that is saying that you're fine all by yourself. Okay. Whether you're single or not you're independent okay you have uh the resources you have your your stable okay your finances look fine during this time okay you do have the four of wands in the reverse so i am feeling like this is a home situation a family situation okay for some of you well let's clarify Page of Wands, ready to take the next steps, putting your thoughts into actions, okay, being prepared as well, all right, again, this is something happening quickly for you, this can be a message as well, uh, For a position. Alright. You have the Eight of Cups here. It's in the reverse. Um, no, it's not. Eight of Cups, knowing that it's time for you to move on. Okay. This can be an announcement of some sort, a message, an upcoming event as well. This can be you feeling like you're missing something or someone. Alright, you have the Queen of Swords coming out. Um, this is someone who is wise and intelligent. They speak their truth, okay? They make logical decisions over reacting out of their emotion. Um, may have had to cut somebody off here. Okay, <clears throat> you have the Two of Swords. Um, somebody acting like they didn't do something wrong here. Needing to go within as well. This could have been some back and forth arguing. Um, someone trying to use one uh, reverse psycho psychology on you as well. You get one for instruction. You have the Ten of Cups. This is you being satisfied with this ending, being happy with the outcome. Okay, or this could have been an ending with this uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. One for special shock. Okay, Three of Cups. 
cups. This is you uh, indulging. Alright, this is simple pleasures. Also, just being around uh, those that make you happy, doing things, you know, that you like as well. Celebrating. Possibly needing to be cautious around uh, friends or family. Why is the magician here? Okay, the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Um, you're keeping something to yourself. You could have been feeling like um, someone was taking advantage of you. All right, um, didn't appreciate the love that you were giving. All right, you have the Page of Swords. Um. This can be someone younger. They can be immature. This is someone feeling like they are uh, stuck. <clears throat> you know, you could be um, naive as well. This can just be a younger person. Alright. Someone was um, unreliable here. Someone could have been cruel, harsh with their words. Why is the fool here? Yeah, with the Queen of Wands in the reverse. Um, this is someone who is in their ego. They can be toxic as well. Okay, this is um, jealous energy and being selfish. All right doesn't have good intentions okay you have the nine of Pentacles all right this is you being guarded as well okay um, but being proud of the life that you create this is you going after the things that you want as well um, within, you know, your, um, within your limit. Okay, this is also you having a good life, creating the life that you want. Alright, you do have the two of wands here. Um, not taking action on a situation, um, refusing to make a decision possibly on something that needs to end here or with a Scorpio yeah not wanting yeah somebody doesn't want to end something here with the uh, world card in the reverse okay this is um, someone wanting to go at this again okay Like I said, this can be a death for some of you. I hate to keep saying that, but it's um, it's showing up pretty heavy. Yeah. <clears throat> you have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse here on top of the Hierophant. This is um, what I'm feeling. You having to spend money within something, okay? Could have been a big purchase as well. Um, something that was long term for you. Like I said, this could have been someone that you were committed to or in a marriage. 
this is you also being grateful for uh, the the time that you have put in. Okay. Yeah, you have the King of Wands here. Um, it's in the reverse. This person wants to do the things, you know, their way. Alright, this person can be abusive also. They can be selfish. Alright. Let's get one for the eight of wands. Okay, yeah, King of Cups here in the reverse. I wasn't for sure um, about this King of Wands. All right, the King of Cups in the reverse. This person wasn't available to you emotionally, okay? This person is a narcissist on top of this Hierophant card, all right, with the King of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? Um, this person was possibly trying to hold you back. All right, but something has ended. All right, things are moving forward for you. You have the five of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. This is you having success um, within a business or something that you're working on. Okay, having solutions to a problem as well. Okay, this can be a, a weight being lifted off your shoulders uh, for some of you. Um, cutting this out or this situation ending, okay? Others of you, you may be feeling, you know, left out in the cold. Not, like I said, not wanting this to end. This can be you or your person that you're dealing with. Okay, I'm going to pull a love oracle to close out your reading. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, so some of you are ready to receive new love. All right. Um, you have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay. Um, someone could have been, you know... Codepend, <clears throat> excuse me, codependent on you in this connection. Um, they could have looked for you, looked towards you for your support as well. Others of you, somebody was, um, I want to say, suffering from an addiction here and may have passed due to it. <clears throat> I just got a real bad, uh, you know, pain in my chest that I felt from that. Okay. At the bottom, you do have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay. Very soon underneath that, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So, um... Being able to forgive and heal from this from the situation, Aries. Um, that way, you can um, start receiving what you deserve. Okay, whether that's love, a new career, or whatever. You know, um, be optimistic. Very soon, clearly decide what you want, so you can see that. Um, in your reality, okay? Alright, so I hope this helps. I'm sorry if it was confusing, Aries. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. Bye.